this is a multi-cloud hybrid cloud offering on Equinix platform backed by pure storage, uh, various different platforms from the storage perspective, including Portworks as one of the main data layer. Now in this particular video, we'll be talking about Anthos integration with Equinix Middle and backed by Portworks as the data layer for the hybrid cloud. The main highlights would be to in, in implement this entire stack with Anthos, Equinix Middle and Portworks in the 40 minutes and the data protection for cloud native application and application of data mobility across clouds. So this would be the first welcome screen when you log into the console of the Equinix Metal. Um, start with creating a project, you create your API keys or add the API keys, and then enable the BGP um, for the networking perspective. Uh, Equinix Metal is primarily a bunch of Terraform script which is available in this GitHub location. You got to download this um, script to your local machine wherever you're hosting it. And then it creates a folder. Under this folder, you'll be having another uh, utility folder which you'll be having the, all the different scripts. And then in your Google Anthos, there is no cluster available right now. We'll go through the process of creating this cluster. So we are first initializing the Terraform. And in the top screen, if you notice, there is a, a Terraform variable where you set the different plans uh, for your Kubernetes cluster, uh, where the kind of provisioning that you would like to do, um, including the storage module set to Portworks. And the facility that you select um, is in the, right now in this particular example is Dallas. And I'm selecting three worker nodes uh, for the Kubernetes cluster that I'm going to be uh, creating. So we just go ahead and type in Terraform apply. The script does everything for you, starting from creating an Anthos cluster, provisioning the uh, sorry, provisioning the phys physical, um, the metal machines uh, the hosts on in, in the Kubernetes layer, as well as the you know, Anthos cluster, and finally installing the Portworks data layer. It takes about a little more than 20 minutes for the entire Anthos cluster to come up, and another 15 to. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes for the port works to be fully up and running. So the total takes under 40 minutes for the entire setup to uh, complete. And everything has been taken care of by the uh, Terraform script. It finally creates this cube config file, export it out to check out all the nodes that have been created. As I mentioned, there's one control plane and three worker nodes. So if you see here, this is a single control plane and three worker nodes listed over here. So if you go back to the console, which originally was blank, you see all the servers that have been created, which has been provisioned by the Terraform script that was uh, that we ran. So we pick up one of the worker node IP addresses and log in to see, and now the Anthos cluster will show that a new cluster that was been created. And now if you go back into one of the worker nodes, like worker node three right now, you would see Portworks is installed and it's up and running. So now it is ready for deploying your applications. Now in this case, I'm going to be deploying a MongoDB database, inserting about 10 million records inside it. And then we go through the data protection phase to see how effective it is to protect the data, back up the data, and the story to any cloud uh, moving forward. So. I'm logging in into the Mongo pod. Um, there is a database called YCSB, which is about 11 and a half gig drive um, capacity, um, size, 10 million records there. So what we did create that in the hybrid cloud, we're going to back it up into a storage in Google Cloud Platform, and then restore it to another cloud. In this example, we'll be restoring it to an Azure cloud. So this is the Portworks backup menu. Um, I have already um, created or added the storage bucket. So if there's no backup right now, uh, we'll be going through the process of creating a backup of the Mongo database that is running on the Equinix platform. So you select the default namespace. That's where the Mo MongoDB database is running. I select all the resources in that, in that namespace give a name to this backup and select the source and the destination and go ahead and start the backup. So
So now this was the bucket that I created on the Google Cloud. And you see this is now populating the data that has been backed up from the Equinix um, uh, hybrid cloud environment. And this is the JSON file which you can actually take a look at the speed in which the transfer is happening. So now the backup is complete. So right now you would see one backup listed. If you go back to the Azure space, there is no namespace called MongoDB right now. I'm going to go restore it to Azure. And I create a, a new namespace called MongoDB under custom restore. change this one to MongoDB. So now when we go to Azure, it should be creating a new namespace called MongoDB when the restore is complete. So here you check the speed in the rest the speed in which the restore is happening. So now let's go to the CLI where you see all my Azure nodes, uh, cluster, Azure Kubernetes cluster nodes. I'm going to uh, look for my namespace called MongoDB. The pod is up and running. I log into the pod, check if all my 10 million records are there. After the restore, you see the same size. The database is now listing there. Right there, 10 million records.